are here, and I'm about to interview the infamous bad mother Jorge Masvidal in this banger bus. I think it's just a regular sprinter van. I just, I don't know why I said banger bus. I should, I'm probably gonna get demonetized. Also, I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm dressed as Scarface. It's the Walmart version. Jorge Masvidal. You know a lot of information, huh? Like, how do you know so much? How do I know so much? Because <laughs> I've been studying you. <laughs> I'm here with... Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. What's up? Um, I know a lot of people have been askering you. Do you want to fight Ben Askren? Nah, I'm not even trying to fight that fool <laughs> like that. Like, I already did that when I was fighting in MMA. I'm retired now. Mm -hmm. But I just think it's a funny pun, right? Like if we did the boxing, because I can't <laughs> yeah. knee him in the face. It's no, you illegal. Can't. It is. It's illegal. Did you know it's illegal? No, it's, it's illegal. It's ben, I can't knee you in the face. The fight might last longer than five seconds, you know. But that's just me, like, just playing around. Because I had seen an interview about him saying that he would come out of retirement for me. So I was just triggered slightly, you know. <laughs> like, like this guy out of all people, you can't talk <laughs> to me, man. I feel like that. That's kind of special, right? He's gonna come all the way out of retirement just to fight you. I mean, I sent him into it, so it's only, it's only right, I guess, that I bring him out. That's true. Do do um a lot of things trigger you, or just Ben Askren? Nah, there's a lot of things that trigger me. There's a lot of things that trigger me. That's a whole 290-minute tape conversation. We want to get into it now. I, I don't know. Is it? I got questions. Why did you set this up in a bus? <laughs> this is like a bang brush like thing. What's going on? It's just crazy, bro. We were we actually uh, we were wondering you told me if you we were had going your to own a jumping thing. We ha I thought you had your own bang bus, but it's just a bro bus. A lot of, all your homies are on it. A lot of homies, um, bodyguards, uh, arms dealers, things like that. You know, nothing crazy. We keep the circle tight. You know. Yeah, I mean, you gotta come to Salt Lake, correct? Yeah, yeah. They have like different type of laws here, so you could have like fully autos and. Sh you know? Yeah, tanks, yeah. grenades. In some cases, you know. Or you talking about my homeboy's girlfriend? That's f***ed up. You called her grenade. <laughs> Wait, who's this? Am I, I missed the joke. Someone explain it to me? Jersey Shore, grenade. Oh. <laughs> um, have you seen the Barbie movie? Yeah, it's all right. My you daughter know? was trying to call me into our site. I'm gonna sleep with my neck off. No, no offense to Barbie, it's just not like I, I watch it like a GI Joe movie because I played with GI Joes, yeah, but yeah. I never played with like Barbie, so, so I wouldn't you don't even. Understand know. The I wouldn't understand the culture, you know. Yeah. I go to GI Joe movie all day. Yeah. Done. You, you have know, better. Barbie's movie, all day. Oh yeah, we didn't even address the fact that I was. I'm dressed like you. That's the best part of the interview. I'm dressed like a bad mother. Did I do the pocket square right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so you're more of like an Oppenheimer guy, or are you just... Oppenheimer? Yeah, never mind. I didn't I see it either. <laughs> I missed that one. It was tr it was like a Barbie was trending with Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer's like, it's like one of those movies that's gonna win like an Oscar or something. How do you know? Um, I don't know, they, they kind of like, like set you up. They kind of like set you up with certain movies because the way that they're shot and the actors and stuff like that, and then they make it seem like it's the greatest movie of the year when it first comes out, but Barbie was doing better. It's stupid. Anyway, speaking of bad mother would you rather be um, a bald mother or a broke mother I think broke, because I'll always <laughs> make money again. I'm going to say that. I'd rather keep some hair, yeah. and then I feel like I can always um, come up with a plan to get rich again. If you go bald already, it's no, that's like death. There's no coming back from that, you know? Coming Unless back you from go to Turkey. turkey. Or yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, you only come back from Turkey, but you got better hair than Barbie. I wish. I wish that's just the lightning in here, but uh, now nah, Barbie's got a full set of hair, you know. What's your routine? For your hair. Um. Cause it's got a good consistent wave to it. Sweat. It's like a lot of sweat uh, and anything natural. I don't like you were talking about it earlier. Rice water. Rice water and. Rosemary oil. Rosemary oil. You sit under the moonlight. You only Sun. cut your hair on a full moon. <laughs> no. <laughs> Some, no. Sometimes, sometimes. I actually need to cut my hair. But I just don't like products with chemicals in it. Um, yeah. A lot of marijuana for the hair as well. What's the other thing they say is good? Uh, avocados. I eat a lot of avocados. That's yeah. good for the hair, right? So you're just a natural guy. 
With the with the no chemicals, yeah. yeah. I try to be natural. You know that they're banning Tide in a lot of places because the chemicals in Tide uh, cause cancer. I didn't know that. You gotta start making your own detergent. I started making my own laundry detergent. I don't use deodorant. Just for that, you know. Everybody here could tell already that I don't use deodorant. For those at home, I don't use deodorant. But after a while, your body doesn't really need it. Like once you acclimate. Nah, everybody tells me I need deodorant. Oh, so you smell? But, you smell your guy? You know, um, I don't use it because it's like linked you to some smell, crazy you don't shit. Smell bad. Maybe it's a shirt. I sprayed it up. So you use I cologne. Going out. I use cologne. What's your scent? Musk. Tarzan musk. Amber oud. I like oud. this one. Yeah, the oud. oud. I like the oud. You know, you can, um, it's called aluminum. That's what they put, and it affects like your lymph nodes. I don't like that. I don't and like it goes that. through your system. I don't like that. Yeah, you know, I don't like that either. Um, okay, your backyard fights are the original bare knuckle boxing. Your backyard fights were the original bare knuckle boxing. It's a lot of bees. A lot of bees. So, how do you feel about bare knuckle boxing now? Well, it was different. And it wasn't mine, I got invited into it, into Kimbo Slice's uh, circle. Mm -hmm. And I got to compete. There was kicks a lot if you wanted to. So if me and you agreed they were going to kick each other, then kick each other we did. A lot of guys just agreed on boxing. Some guys even agreed on MMA. But for the most part, it was just straight hands. So it definitely feels 360 that I kind of started like that. I got my big break like that. And now I get to give these guys that same like platform, kind of how Kimbo gave to me. I get to give it to them. Come through, fight, get your shine on, and keep it moving. So. With Game Bread. Uh, with Game Bread FC, you know, so it's something that I love. And um, and like you said, I, I, I that's how I got like my first big break or exposure to yeah. the world was with the bare knuckle. That's cool. It is a 360. I remember your videos from back in the day. It's, you never seen anything like it. Yeah, it was different. And Kimbo at the time was like, if Michael Jackson got a million views in a video, Kimbo's getting like 20 because he was a YouTube star sensation. Yeah. So when he asked me to fight for his platform, I was like, this is huge. This is the biggest thing in combat, you know, right now of, of this type of combat, you know? Yeah. There was boxing, pay-per-views and things like that, but of like YouTube street fights, Kimbo had it on lock, you know? So it was just an honor when he invited me on the platform. So before Kimbo, what were you doing? Like, how did you, how did you get started? Training, I was just training, uh, gym to gym. Wherever I, I found out that they would, you know, train MMA or wrestling or they had good level striking. I, I got lucky that I grew up in Miami and there was a lot of high level strikers. A lot of guys defected from Cuba or came from Puerto Rico. They were very good in boxing world champions and amateurs or Olympics. So I had a lot of that growing up, but it wasn't too much wrestling and jujitsu in the beginning. So I would seek that out a lot. And um, one thing led to another, me and Kimber were at the same gym in his camp, invited me to go to, to one of the backyards and boom. I feel like, like the backyard fights, like the bare knuckle fights, I don't know how to phrase this the right way, but I feel like, I'm gonna get so much for saying it because I'm gonna say it wrong. But there's like a different kind of dog in you guys. Like there's no fear. You know, the bullets are flying both ways, right? You get punched bare knuckle, it hurts. You punch bare knuckle, it kind of also still hurts. So it's different. You're getting busted up right away. And if there's submissions involved, it's easier to put the submission. So it's definitely more finishes. It's how it is on the street. You know, like if you were just to fight somebody, it would be no time to put the gauze, the tape, the glove. It'd just be go time. So that's why it has that real feel, you know? It's nuts, yeah. you know? And then if a guy breaks his hand, I mean, what happens is the fight changed drastically. Like, so many factors go into it. Yeah. Do you believe in aliens? Um, define aliens. Uh, okay. Aliens. You're not making fun of my family members and by aliens. No, so not illegal saying. aliens. I mean, like, well, like the aliens illegal, that come I here. I got cousins that are legal. Like legal aliens? No, like, yeah, like, like legal <laughs> aliens, yeah. Like, From, like, Cuba? From Cuba and Peru. No, I mean, like, another planet. Not Cuba. I mean, Cuba. Oh, you mean aliens for like ET? Yeah, like ET. Yeah, you know, I got a lot of questions about that. A lot know. of questions too, because I think they're real. I think they're among us. I think that they wear skin suits and they shape shift and there's a lot of reptiles out there. You've seen one before? Yeah. A reptile? Yeah. Like a human reptile? Yeah. No way. Yeah. <laughs> uh, she's good at her job. Um, where? I don't know, they just, they know me. I don't wanna, I'm not trying to out anybody, but you see that lady on the plane, she did see one. She saw a reptile, he was up in the back. You mean like men in black? 
Yeah, they don't look like roaches. They just shape shift, and a lot of times they let you know. By the way, it's like it's like the interactions just different. You're, you're trolling and serious. No, I'm actually someone. being really serious. Like you, you just know when you meet. I don't even know if I'm gonna put this part because they're gonna come for me. But like you, you just know when you meet someone and they're not from here. I don't know how to explain it. Like you see it in in their eyes and the way that they like, uh, like the way that they communicate with you. Were you high at that time? Or no, I don't even. I, I cannot do drugs and I cannot drink. So you were sober when you totally met this person, so. When they, yes, and they told me we were sitting down at a barbecue. No, no. So that's it, one and done. You saw him one time, never again. Yeah, I know who this person is. Oh, you still know who this person yeah, is? Yeah, 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 yeah. And they told me all about their lineage, how they got here. There's a lot of vortexes, especially in the Mojave Desert, like in um, what's it called? Hell. Uh, what's it called? Hell. Um, hell. Valley, Death Valley. There's a lot of vortexes. There's vortexes in Antarctica. There's vortexes in Peru. There's vortexes all over. There's vortexes everywhere. The Bermuda Triangle. Have you ever been to space? No. Have we ever landed on the moon? No. Are satellites real? Maybe. Is Earth flat? Yes. <laughs> the X Files. Let's go. Um, but, okay. So but I don't while think the Earth is flat, but yeah, it's. While all this is going on, they actually are having like a. The what government is the cocaine that they found in the White House. Yeah, I'm sure they do a lot of cocaine in that White House. Okay, good. At least we agree on something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they do more than cocaine in the White House. Yeah. They right now are. The Congress is talking about aliens right now and how they have UFOs know, but, and extraterrestrials, non-humans. But, but that's also, if you ask me, that's a big bait and switch as other groundbreaking political things are happening that could alter the future race in 2024 all of a sudden this comes out yeah. like you've had this information in forever and today forever. was the day you released today but why today, why today? whether it's real or not why, why today? today because why hunter today? biden got denied his mother uh, sentencing that he was going to get that cop out deal yeah. he was going to get away with murder and taxes transporting prostitutes across state lines which is a federal crime and all types of blow recorded and other drugs that are like, you know, misdemeanors or whatever. They were gonna let him slide, but a judge came in, a very powerful judge, very um, strong judge and said, no, nah, this is not gonna happen. So right as that's happening, all of a sudden there's aliens. So I don't say that there's not aliens, there is, but uh, what's up, mate? Another legend over there, Anthony Smith. You can't tell, huh? I can't see, oh, I see his head. Yeah, yeah that's him. I think it's like a bait and switch and this always seems to happen like, every so often you know so i don't know how much i believe it or not you know but I, I don't rule out the possibility that there's another intelligent life form in this universe do you think it's just us or i don't know i i those are questions i don't know i believe in jesus christ i believe in god and i believe that god you know made this whole universe and um not me not you not the f***ing cokeheads at the white house got all the info you know so yeah they definitely don't no hell no i think tr apparently trump has the info Trump in Mar-a-Lago. Trump has the info. <laughs> yeah. Trump save us. Um, All right, so you kind of you kind of believe in aliens. You kind of don't believe in aliens. Do you think um, Hunter would have gotten let off easy if he had a bang bus? Like this one? Yeah, for a fact. He would have had all the f***ing Democratic Party in there partying with them, and they would have just took more charges off. If things that if me and you did, we'd be locked behind bars. But why? Because your dad was the vice president at the time you get away with murder? It's not fair. It's a two-tier justice system, you know? Do you think Hunter had a, a Windows or an Apple um, laptop? I think it's a Windows. Yeah, because they, 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 it wasn't at a Genius Bar. It was like at a like a shop for like for like Microsoft Word yeah, or yeah, something. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. Are these Drop mosquitoes? What are, what is this? You know, if you breathe out of your mouth, that's uh, people who breathe out of their mouth and produce more carbon, um, carbon monoxide uh, get bit more by mosquitoes. That's why you get bit a lot. You I never, get bit, I I never, never get, get bit either. by mosquitoes ever. They don't like my, I got the jungle blood. It's like an immunity that got developed, so I don't get bit by them. You probably don't breathe out of your mouth either. And you don't use a deodorant. I don't you use probably don't like that either. <laughs> <laughs> if you can pick three fighters who you've either fought before or have fought with to fight aliens, who would they be? And since we're in this fantasy world, can I pick them at whatever age too? Yeah, you can pick them at whatever age. Just because he's one of the nastiest athletes I've ever met in my lifetime and I've met them all, 
I'm going to say Joel Romero. You get that guy at 24 years old, holy smoke. Fucking up aliens, left and right. I, let's go, let's go find out. I'm going to pick myself. Yes, you and three people. So it's you, like you are you know, fucking up aliens, bro. Like you are just balls deep in alien nation. Lighting so me, them I'm up. I'm gonna get a good. I'm gonna get. So me, Joel's like a, a good grappler. Yeah. You know, striker. And, and let me get a straight sh grappler now. Okay. Because I'll be the striker of the group. Yeah. You know, just to like switch it up. Maybe I don't know. Um, Habib, man, because he has that style. That maybe the aliens are crazy they good don't strikers. Like it. Yeah. Maybe they don't like that grappling style. Let's bring one of the best grapplers ever. I will probably get like a Habib just to fucking ride guys into the next planet. You know, who are you picking? Well, you got one more. Me, Joel, and Habib. No, you and three people. Oh, boy, boy, Dustin boy. Poirier. Because he's going to lay people out. Even if those aliens are good at stand up, we're going to f them up. Yeah, you're going to throw hot sauce at him. Oh my God. Oh, I'm being attacked right now. See, I told you, I started talking about reptiles and they're we're coming after me. Rachel Ostevich. Oh my God. Holly Holm. Look, I killed it. And Nina. Nina. Nina for sure. Dude, I'm. I mean, enough. I'm enough Nina. for most. You know, yeah. you know what? You know what's crazy? A lot of times people call me in times of chaos. For? To solve all their problems. I'm like the Ray Donovan of solving uh, problems of chaos. Because you know reptilians that are I connected? Do. I know them. I know them very well. Okay, I'm going to play. Last thing, we're going to play a game called um, Super Necessary versus Super Unnecessary. Please. Pronouns. Super. Unnecessary. <laughs> but at the same time, like necessary, I, and, and since you asked the question, I, I'll just speak on the topic. Um, I feel that everybody should be respected, but at the same time, all the years of me being in school, being taught something from a biological scientific standpoint to a social construct, you can't just tell me that I am a girl when you're not a girl. You know, like somebody can't do that. You know, you could ask me on a personal level, Hey, could you just address me as this? You know, and also not impose it by the laws. Like, it's freedom of speech over, so it's only if I choose mm -hmm. to call so and so that. But I don't have to, knowing that this is a free country. Yeah. My brother, I, I, I'm from the hood in London, man. I gotta, I gotta talk to you, bro. Let's I got you. Let's go. <laughs> you gotta get them on video. <laughs> oh, they're so excited. Oh. Get the shots ready. When I'm done, get the shots ready. Let's go, man. <laughs> Wow. Dude, they would totally choose you in an alien invasion. For sure. I think you got thrown. I never seen you get thrown off so much as today. Right? This threw you off. Earlier, you. I hear somebody. I go, what? Who do I owe money to? I didn't even want to turn around. It was, it was you. I was, I was like, Jorge, Jorge. And you couldn't yeah. hear me. So I was like, George. And then you, you turn crazy. around. I tripped and you turned around. Yeah, yeah. It was crazy. <laughs> I've never seen you off like your rocker. You know, it's just twice in a day. I was, I was calling for you. Okay. All right, back to it. So super necessary versus super unnecessary. Um, STD testing. Super necessary. <laughs> Ooh, whoa, dude, come on. Listen to me. Super necessary. Super necessary. And twice on a Sunday. On God's day. Pedicures. Pedicures? Uh, no, not, not with the, not with like polish, but like the pedicures. Like a, a woman getting them? Super necessary. <laughs> like you. Me? Yeah, you gotta have good feet, bro. Maybe while it you were fighting, it's like... It, de it just depends what on, What do your like, feet look like? You gonna show me? It depends. Nah, I got shoes and socks on. You crazy? That's a whole movie to take <laughs> oh that shit off. Oh my god, my pants. Um, I don't know. It just depends, like, on my mood. And usually that... Pedicures depend on your mood? Yeah, my mood is if I got time for them. If I do them myself. If, like, maybe an ex-girlfriend of mine gave me the artwork. Or if I went to, like, a place which is rare. Those are rare, you know. It's more likely that I would just do it myself, you know, because I got wrestling practice, you know, just a couple click, 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 socks on, go run, go do whatever I got to do, you know. Take care of the dogs. That's what they say. You know, it's crazy. Somebody told me literally the same yeah. same phrase like two weeks ago, and now you mention it. It's weird deja vu. Next, mail-in ballots. <laughs> I mean, if you're a cheating ass Democrat, or not Democrat, if you're just a cheater, and you don't want to go down 
the most righteous ways of showing up there, providing your ID, making sure you're an American citizen, and then getting your vote on, I would say super unnecessary for mail-in ballots. Super unnecessary. Um, three piece and a soda? Super necessary. Both of them. Whether you're serving up somebody a meal or you're just going yourself to like the local rosticerie and you're actually just hungry, you know? Both are, are ne super necessary. Flying knee kicks. Flying knee kicks, flying knees, anything of that range of violence, super necessary. Um, toxic masculinity. Super necessary. <laughs> Because there's so many other things you wouldn't know if that wasn't around, you know? You, you wouldn't know what just regular masculinity looks like if there wasn't this so-called toxic masculinity, which is no such thing. I don't really know what, what, what it means. I don't know what, what it means. Um, freedom of speech? Super necessary, and that's why this is the greatest country in the world, because you as a journalist could go out there, voice your opinion, say what you want do this and that, question people, ask all types of questions, and not be persecuted for that. So freedom of speech, anybody watching this, number one thing in the world. Olives. For me, personally, what do you think? Super necessary. Duh. Yes. Really? Yeah, super oh, necessary. Yeah. Dude, no one likes olives. I love olives. Green olives, black olives. Red olives, the red ones. From Whole Foods. Okay, when you go to Whole Foods, go to the Olive Bar. They got the ones with the pits. You never get the pitted ones. They don't have the they don't have the oomph in them. You gotta get the ones with the pits. I heard the red olives. Um, like people in like prison are, are the ones that like get them out of the packages, do the thing, and then send them out to Whole Foods. You know, like onions what? that come peeled. They do it from prisoners in China. Did you know that? Prisoners Wait. in China <laughs> peel the onions and then they package them up and they send it to us. So we'll sp specifically, the red olives they give to prisoners. The red olives at Whole Foods are, are trafficked it by uh, prisoners? prisoners. At Alcatraz? I, or I like know. Rikers? I, don't ask me specifics. Or like where? Okay. <laughs> Not specifically any prison in general, but they do, they are sourced from prisoners straight olives. to Whole Foods. Just like diced uh, onions, you know? Prisoners do that as well. So thank you, prisoners. God bless, man. Last one unregulated street fights. Super necessary. This is just evolution. This is just hierarchy. This is just establishing boundary lines, you know. This is uh, entertainment. This is a way of life. This is so many things, so super necessary. Flanagan's. They got some mean ass chicken wings in. <laughs> nah, super necessary. Super necessary? Yeah, they got good drinks too. The chicken wings are lethal there. You really don't believe in aliens? I. I didn't say that I don't. I don't rule out the possibility. Because I don't know everything and neither does anybody, you know? I believe in God Almighty and maybe he created some extra brothers and sisters for us. I don't know. You know what I don't believe in? F***ing administration. Yeah. All those motherfuckers destroying my country, taking our country to yeah. on 4th of July, putting up flags on other that are not the U.S. And from the start of his run has been the most epic run of failures, evacuating Iraq to everything that he's done now, still not letting us frack. Let us get our country back. Get the fuck out. Don't nobody like you here. God bless America. I don't believe Joe Biden is Joe Biden. I, I think it's like a new guy every six, seven weeks. It's a skin suit. It's something. <laughs> and that's, that's the end of this with Jorge Masvidal. One shot, one take. Um, what do you think of Power Slap? People getting knocked the f out. Every time I see a highlight, <laughs> someone's going into the next dimension. That shit looks crazy as f man. People talk about that I was crazy when I used to fist fight on the street. You couldn't pay me enough money to sit there and let even you slap me like that. That's crazy. So for, for me, that's nuts. I personally couldn't do it, though I know. It's like, damn, you fought your whole life for 20 years. You can't take a slap. If you slap me, you got to kill me because I'm going to catch you in the parking lot. <laughs>